Hey everyone, it's your favorite host, Christina. You've got your dial right where you want it. Street Heaters on Fox Sports Net. This week we go faster, drive harder, and get crazier with rides from all over the country. You can't make this stuff up. Street Heaters from the hottest studio in the world, Ace Electronics in Pittsburgh, PA. Roll the show, baby. It's time to burn. It's always a badass that makes a girl's heart beat faster. of all time this is my main squeeze Linda Hogan and you're watching Street Heaters so what you gonna do brother when the largest arms in the world Linda Hogan with the biggest gimmicks in the world and Street Heaters runs wild on you what you gonna do Street Heaters hi I'm Peter and I'm Tracy and welcome to this week's 212 segment brought to you by Fox Chapel Marine Here we have on display a large example of the pre-owned boats that we carry. 
from Sea Ray, Silverton, Wellcraft, Baja, you name the brand, we carry it. Our pre-owned boats go through our service department in a rigorous check to make sure that you have hours of enjoyment while you're out on the water. We carry anything from jet skis up to mega yachts on a pre-owned scale, and the savings is rather large. With our large selection of pre-owned boats, we're sure to have something that'll offer you unlimited enjoyment for you and your family. Well, that wraps up this week's 212 segment featuring our pre-owned boats. To see more of our pre-owned boats, visit us at foxchapelmarine.com. I'm Peter. And I'm Tracy. And we'll see you next week. Hey guys, it's Jess with Street Heater. We're here with Red Bull and Ducati and some hot bikes. We're having a lot of fun and seeing a lot of action. Check us out, Street Heaters. You know how we do it. about Ducati bikes. Come with me. How you doing, Aaron? Good. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. So why don't you tell me a little about these Ducati bikes? Well, Ducati is an Italian manufacturer. Uh, we manufacture race-inspired uh, motorcycles, a uh, variety of motorcycles from our uh, cruisers to sport bikes to a uh, monster style you can do everyday riding on. So you taking this out for a spin later? You better believe it. <laughs> Besides riding today, what else is going on here? Um, anything from Ducatis, any kind of motorcycle enthusiast can come up, enjoy themselves, and uh, get a little taste of the track. So we have uh, Ducatis as well as uh, a ton of other motorcycle enthusiasts up here to the track. That's awesome. It's a beautiful day for that. It certainly is. So let's go talk with Doug. Hi, Doug. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Oh, that's great. It's a beautiful day to go riding. Are you taking this out for a spin? Oh, you betcha. I wouldn't miss it. So tell me a little bit about your champions and all your riding that you've been doing. Yeah, I won uh, the 1991-92 World Superbike Champion Championship. I've also won the U.S. Championship in Superbike in 1993, as well as the World Endurance Championships in 97 and 98. So I uh, had a busy career. <laughs> Sounds like it. Very interesting. Maybe you can teach me a thing or two about bikes. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, everybody can learn, no problem. <laughs> So you've won all these champions and with the Ducati bike. So tell me what you like about Ducati so much. Uh, well, the one thing I really liked was uh, the, the power delivery of the engine. That's, that's number one. Uh, it's very smooth, a lot of torque, a lot of low end power. Uh, it's very rideable. And the other thing is uh, the precise handling that they built into these bikes is, uh, is unmatched by any other bike that I've ever ridden. So uh, that whole combination has just uh, has been the best for me. All right, thanks, Doug. So it looks like they're taking these bikes out on the track, so why don't we go and take a great look at these speed demons.
Motorsports Cadillac CTSV is an 05 and we're setting up for Formula Depot next year. So, right now, just doing test and tune. We've got a fancy car lowers, bunch of reservoirs, headers. We've got a tuning from F40 Central. We've got a linear filter intake, the rear bushings. Just trying to set up, like, make sure everything is tight in the car. And next year, we're going to take this car apart, get an 04, to build a Formula Depot for the season. So, we have a lot planned for more motorsports for next year. And we're going to take through here just for a ride and see. Uh, so the car can do. Monica, and welcome to this week's Extreme South segment, brought to you by Extreme Car and Truck. Nothing looks hotter or keeps you cooler than tinted windows on a vehicle. Tim, could you tell us a little bit about these tinted windows? Monica, here at Extreme, we do tons of vehicles. We tint uh, anything from trucks to match factory film. Um, we do full, full vehicles, um, we go in any shade, uh, style that you want on the car. Um, and, and like you said, it, it definitely keeps the inside of the car cooler, it makes the outside look great. I mean, just appearance wise, tinted windows just look great. And Tim, how long does it take to tint a window? Normally, Monica, we can get a vehicle in and out the same day. Um, generally, it takes about two hours to tint a whole vehicle. Only two hours? Yeah, only two hours. You make an appointment. Some cases, we can get you in the same day. That's amazing. 
Yeah, and with all of our tint at Extreme, uh, we offer a lifetime warranty, and we do have a lot of different shades, anything from 5% limo tint all the way up to 50%. And Tim, where can I find more information about the tinting? Monica, you can go to extremetruck.net, um, or you can, you know, call us 412-257-1006, and, um, you know, we also offer window tinting on residential and commercial buildings as well, so. Wow, that's definitely really neat. Well, thank you very much, Tim. Okay, guys, that's it for this week. Don't forget to check us out online at extremetruck.net. Bye-bye. This is your girl Kira. We're at the first 2006 Street Heaters Car Cruise. Come check out some cars. It's an 06 Celine SC281 supercharged coupe. Uh, they added the 40 horsepower Celine upgrade kit that was just recently introduced. Basically, that should push the horsepower to about 475 crank horsepower. Basically, I've added the fillet pieces inside, uh, the full navigation system with backup cam by Pioneer, um, and it rolls. Uh, Celine makes very low production of these cars. Basically, this year they're probably gonna hit about 1,400, which is probably gonna be the most that they've ever produced in one year, basically. Hey Mike, you taking me out in this bad boy later tonight? Oh yeah, definitely. Can you drive stick? I'm gonna let you drive it. Oh baby, I'll leave that up to you. You better pick me up at eight. Right on. Thanks Mike. Guys, we're here with Cody, and behind us is a sharp Beamer. Cody, what can you tell me about this beauty? Well, this truly is an incredible vehicle. This is a 2006 BMW M6 with a uh, V10 motor, uh, 507 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 4.1, and a quarter mile in 12.1. This is an incredible car. I affectionately call it the Uber Stumper. Ultimate car, incredible car, love it. It's got a carbon fiber roof which reduces uh, the uh, 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 center of gravity of the car, drops the weight of the car by about 90 pounds. Uh, again, it's a V10 motor. This car just absolutely screams. Love it. Absolutely amazing. Now, do you take this car out year round or do you just kind of keep it for show? No, no, no. This is a nice weather only sort of car. <laughs> um, beautiful day today in Pittsburgh. This is just a great car to drive around and cruise around in. We uh, just got through break-in, so I finally got to push that incredible button on the, the, um, the dashboard. It's called the M button. It's, called, it's also called the O oh button. You're going to have to edit that out. But um, this car really puts the car into 507 horsepower mode, and it just screams. I just went to Toronto last weekend, and it was a perfect opportunity on the highways up there to just open this thing up, and it just screams. I love this car. The QEW is the best place Absolutely. to race a car and You've to test it out to its fullest. Awesome, yeah, it's, it's a perfect place. Uh, wide roads or four to six lane highways, eight lane highways actually, and you just go, you can just go. There's nothing on the roads, you just scream. It's called the Queen Elizabeth for a reason. All right, so this is your first ever Straight Heaters car cruise. Absolutely. How's it going? It's an awesome car cruise. We've got some great cars out here. 
great day, great ladies. It's awesome, awesome time. All right, so uh, I hear you're friends with Mike. He has oh, yeah. the Mustang. Oh yeah, that Mustang Saline. That car will give this car a run for its money. But we know who will win. All right, but I heard he's taking Kira out. So uh, does that mean? Does that mean? Uh, you uh, know, you, and you I can. Are gonna go out. Uh, can I? In the can passage. I take? Can I take his first? Bet? You know what? You've got pole position, babe. Anytime. Oh yeah, you've heard it. All right, let's not stop there. Let's go check out some more. We're here with Mark. Mark. Can you tell me a little bit about this Camaro? Well, this is my 1995 Camaro Z28 convertible. Uh, it was based essentially my first Camaro, let alone my first convertible that I've ever owned. Uh, bought it four years ago, Mother's Day, and each year after that, uh, just build it up into what you see today. It was bone stock, of course, when I bought it, putting, a, putting down only about 280 horsepower back then. Uh, with everything that I've done to it, leaving the motor bone stock, uh, she's laying down 411 horsepower with almost 450 foot-pounds of torque on a 100 shot of nitrous. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Kristen. I'm here with my boy Ryan, shop manager at Ace Electronics in Pittsburgh. How are you doing today, Ryan? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm good. Tell me a little bit about this whip behind us. It's a 1986 Monte Carlo. It has a full wear suspension. I have a custom paint job. Okay, I like these little pink flames you got going on here. What about this paint job? Uh, it has a uh, full triple pr two tan uh, pearl flames in it. Okay, I like this. I like the little pink flames going on. Tell me what's going on in your back seat. Uh, it has a uh, full custom air ride suspension, ten switches. Uh, I have two tanks, uh, eight valves. Okay, now I hear some music playing. What do you got in the trunk? I have a whole, full custom uh, enclosure. It's all Power Base Extreme. Okay, well, thank you, Ryan, so much for your time. Thanks, and uh, for all the viewers, uh, stop into Ace Electronics. We'll uh, take care of any of your uh, audio or video needs. That's all the street heaters for now. We'll be right back. Welcome to this week's 60 Seconds with Scion, brought to you by North Hills Toyota Scion. Let's check out this week's ride. Hi, this is Melissa, and this is how I hooked up my Scion TC. It's a Flint Mica TC, I have a lip kit, fogs, carbon fiber door, um, Pillars, chrome uh, door sills, interior lighting, six dish changer, TRD exhaust, satellite radio. And that's how I hooked up my ride. All right, everyone, that's it for this week's 60 Seconds with Scion, brought to you by North Hills Toyota Scion. Well, there's no doubt about it, you get it all at North Hills Toyota Scion. Don't forget to check us out at scionofpittsburgh.com. I'm DJ, and I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> everyone, that's about all the adrenaline I can handle for today. But don't worry, there's more street heaters at the click of a mouse at www.streetheaters.com. You can check out pics, buy DVDs, and most importantly, send me emails. That's it. I'm Christina, and we will heat you up same time, same place next week. You have just been officially heated. Street heaters, baby. Sweet